Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm going to try not to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I would like to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. that long but there are definitely some things i would like to get into first when we are talking about this situation with what's going on with these baddies ladies now i'm pretty sure that you guys have saw you know the baddies caribbean episodes have been dropping it seems like to me and i haven't watched any episodes like in fully i've been catching all of these clips it seems like to me this show really has taken the fighting totem pole up um, several notches. Now, I know when this show first started and it was really, you know, highly publicized, you know, with the crochons and stuff like that, there was a lot of fighting, but there wasn't this much fighting. It seems damn near in every episode, there's at least one or two fights that are going down with the cast members. And I just want to say this. You really do have to be careful on what your children are watching. You really have to be mindful on what you are watching. No disrespect to anybody who's a part of the cast, crew, or anything like that. But these women were so juiced, so juiced. They all posted stories, and I get it because that's their boss. He bought them all gifts. He bought them all Balenciaga bags. And they all were so excited to post these things up. But I'm like... We, what, what, are, what are you guys doing? Like, you guys are really and really have sold yourselves so short to be on a network, you know, where fighting and negativity is heavily promoted within women and within colored women. And I mean, Mariah Lynn's on there, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But she ain't running a whole bunch of us, you know what I'm saying? But women in general, like, it's just disgusting. And it's just like, what do you expect these women and these young girls and girls that's growing up who seeing clips of this? And I know it's not on you guys, but like I'm pretty sure that some of these women have daughters, um, have sisters, have a whole bunch of women in their family or around a whole bunch of women. Like, would you at the end of the day want your daughter to be fighting, throwing hands on a television show just so that way she can get, you know, some fame and people know who she is and she can get a couple of dollars? And a Balenciaga bag? Is this really what you guys are worth? And then, what's even more disturbing about this whole show is, yes, like, you, it started off with people like Prashan Rock and, you know, people like that who came from other shows or really didn't have much going on. And then it's like, this show definitely brought a bigger name to these people. But it's like, the more that this show goes on, the more they continue to get women who... We've already seen in the spotlight. We've already seen on other shows. We've already seen doing their thing. And it's like, maybe their time was drizzling out on those shows, especially the Love and Hip Hop, the Jocelyn Lins, the Mariah Lins, all of them, even the Natalie Nunn's, no disrespect, but Bad Girls Club been gone for a while. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they're re they're trying to recreate what, you know, that show was, honestly. Um, we're taking them out to these nice places, having them in these nice houses, having them around nice locations and, you know, good people. And then the, you know, they start to fight and start to show out and start to show the true colors. And I get it. A lot of these shows and a lot of the actors on these shows like Black Crew Inc. or Black Ink Crew, whatever the hell it's called, all these different, you know, reality shows, they tell you and they've had people come out and do interviews and tell you like, the more you act up, the more crazy you get. Yeah, you'll get an extra thousand. You'll get an extra five. You'll get an extra seven hundred dollars. And no, I didn't mean five thousand. I meant because the highest I heard was a, a band. I meant five hundred dollars. But it's like, how much are you guys willing to put your bodies through, your mentals through? Because even though we claim that this is a show, and even though you know this stuff might all be whatever, you girls are getting into real fights with each other. Like that's not fake. The throwing the hands, that's real. These girls getting their weaves and stuff pulled out and teeth missing and stuff, that's real. 
So it's like, how much are you guys putting your bodies through or willing to put your bodies through and talk all this crap? Like just to keep getting Balenciaga bags and a few dollars. And granted, a whole bunch of people know who you are. Yeah, your story may have gotten shared to the rest of the world and that might have been something good. But at the end of the day, you're sacrificing way much more than what you're getting back. Now, these top dogs like Lumel, Palmer, or whatever the hell his name is, he's getting his money. Him and all his people, their their production, yeah, they're getting their dough. And we've already seen the nastiness and the gossipness of this network. And this is just one network alone because Ray J's and then there's a couple of other ones that got some net worth where girls is out here fighting. I didn't even know Kayla B was in the show where they got her, you know, beating up people and stuff. Like, it's just crazy. It's like, you guys already have some things going for yourself and you're resorting to this. So if you guys already, you know, were part of the lime life and part of the, the spotlight and had money and stuff like that and still have money, what do you think these new younger people are going to say? Because they don't have anything. So for them, getting into a fight like firsthand and doing all this crazy stuff, they're going to off top do it because they nobody knows who they are. And it's really unfortunate and it's really dysfunctional that that's where the women are going down. The women are getting worse than the dudes. I'm just going to keep it 100. Like, this is getting nasty and disgusting and it's, it's horrible, okay? And I wish that some more positivity things would come out. I need some shows that's showing girls, you know, um, you know, relating to each other. Uh, I don't know, coming together about something else than fighting in men and, and bags. This is ridiculous. And like I said, I know that everybody is grown. They can do whatever they want. I know they are not, you know, supposed to be responsible for teaching your children anything positive. But geez, like... Is this what you really want for your life? Do you want your children to be looking back on this? And I know right now, y'all, I'm young, I'm getting my bag. But do you want your child to see you being young and getting your bag like this? When there's plenty of people in the world who were young at once and were getting their bag, but they wasn't getting it like this. Like there's other positive, good, productive ways that you can get a bag and get a good bag instead of doing stuff like this. It's just crazy. The next thing that I would like to speak on is this situation with Gloss Up. Listen. I'm going to let you guys hear a snippet of what she had to say, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Y'all be cool, I'm still with the same I be cool, like, stop, stop all this I be cool. Y'all cannot be on this Stay up on my business. I know I be going crazy I just be on, I be tweaking sometimes, like, y'all don't be tweaking sometimes. I ain't saying that. Oh, I play too much. Too much. Chill, okay? It's okay, yo, chill, like, damn. I know I be tweaking, I'm a little and cry that shit, so like, damn. I'm going to cry that I ain't mean it. So I'm having a little shit. Like, I, I just talking to look. Mommy, I mean, what's up? Dickory, dickory, dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock is. Hickory, dickory. What about this one? No, we're not doing it, Jason. Getting y'all, getting y'all seatbelts. I'm gonna lie. Fucking stupid. I'm gonna get off y'all. Hey, man. Get your butt in the car seat. Why'd you just like slow down, baby? Y'all think I should take that man back? Yeah, Carl Rogan in here. Huh? Hmm. What? Yeah, I was looking at the game. Y'all think that man should take over? They know how to put that seatbelt on. Look. Tell them, say, I know what the hell I'm doing. Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. I'm not playing. Put your seatbelt on. Can you help him? Jersey, Jason. Can I help him? <laughs> what I'm saying, y'all kids don't know how to put that goddamn seatbelt on? No, I don't cry on your seatbelt. Is y'all crazy? <laughs> That's not him, y'all. <laughs> Bye. The <laughs> lane, bro. Nigga, don't got no car, no house. He putting his his sister car. Lane, man. So as you guys clearly just heard what she had to say, basically the man who she called a bum, who she said was driving his sister's car, who she said was going to have to go back and go live with his sister, who she said was jealous because she is going to continue to have Hancho as her stinky link or sneaky link or whatever the hell she had said. She's back with him, back in the car, back chilling with him, back got him around her children. And this is what I want to say. You guys clearly heard her say, basically telling her fans and people, you know, who was watching her to basically mind their business. Y'all know that she's crazy and she does some crazy things and yada, yada. She has children and she is saying things like this. She has children and she has disrespected this man and called him out of his name. And I'm not exactly sure, like I told y'all, I'm not sure if he's here for the cloud or he feels like, you know what, my girl is this singer, uh, rapper, actress, you know, whatever the case may be. And she got some clout, so I'm just going, because some dudes will do that. Like how they say that some females and some dudes, 
be acting a certain type of way for pay. You got people who will deal with people who knowingly knows that these people are cheating on them and doing X, Y, and Z just because they are getting a dollar or just because they are being taken care of. Because we already know that these two were living together. She's the breadwinner in this relationship, especially if she's dogging them out, talking about you being in your sister's car or in your sister's this. At the end of the day, you talked about this man like a dog, and then you're telling us to stay up out of your business, but you're putting yourself back on live, and you're showing us and letting us hear his voice. He's clearly back in the car. He's clearly helping your children put their seatbelts on, but you want us to mind our business. You guys, you guys, you guys, when you're telling somebody to mind their business, please be mindful of the things that you are putting out there on the internet. Don't put your business out there on the internet. You dog this dude. Now, what's to say that he don't get back good with you? And you have to be careful because nowadays, like I said, I don't trust anybody. And the way we live in, in this world today and how it's going and how these people be trying to just wait for years and then come back with the get back. He might be getting back with her just to collect some stuff. I don't know. It might be really true love. He might be really in love because we already know she's going to continue to do what she do. She been told us that. And she can claim that she's crazy all she wants. She has two children. So at the end of the day, you either going to fix that up or you're going to lose it. Because you can, you cannot, cannot continue to act like this with children. Like, real talk. And it's embarrassing. We just did a video on you cussing out this man, dogging him. He took your phone, got on your live, and then you claim that he was doing all this for clout. It's like, how do you do all this and put each other's business out here on the internet in the worst way? Call each other some of the most disgusting names that I've ever heard. And then all of a sudden, you're back with him and he's in the car, fastening up your children to the, the, the car seat. Like, what are you doing? And then you want to tell us, mind your business. Y'all know I'm crazy. That ain't nothing to be bragging about or to be saying. And honestly, I wish that if you would have took this man back, you wouldn't have got your ass on the internet. Because we don't really care at the end of the day. We already know what's going to happen. You're going to continue to talk to him. You're going to continue to talk to Hunter. You're going to continue to do whatever you're going to do. And you're going to continue to look a certain type of way. Where would heard your friends, they tried to help you the last time. You was talking about your son, how you were drinking the wine. They were trying to tell you, hey, shut it down. So, yeah, we know you a little bit of not all the way there. As we all are at times. But you going on live... And then putting this man back on live after the last images that we saw was you kicking him out and him having to throw all of his stuff into the back trunk seat of his sister's car. And then you talked about him so bad. You're bum. You're this. You're that. So now this is what I'm going to say to you, Ms. Glossa. Don't come to us and tell us that he's a bum. Don't come to us and tell us that he's a loser and that he's at his sister house. We don't want to hear none of that. And don't tell us nothing negative about this bum who you're going to allow to sleep back in your bed and he's already around on your children. Forget even being with you in the bed. You still allow him to be around your children to help your children and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that the man is a bad dude or nothing like that. And I know sometimes when you get into heated arguments, things can really just, you should just say the meanest, meanest, nastiest things you can possibly say. But I always tell women, you got to be careful when you disrespect men because number one, sometimes you disrespect them and you can't come back from that. And sometimes there are things that you can say that can really like just capture a person's soul, like, and just take it out. And the thing she was saying was, whoa. And like I said, I don't think that this brother has high self-esteem or like I said, he's here just for the clout. Because if anybody was to be talking to you and be saying that they still was going to talk to a person that they were in a relationship with and their ex and all this other kind of stuff. And basically, Keisha Cole and him broke up all because of this nonsense keep going on. And I'm pretty sure that she's not the only one he's talking to. I'm pretty sure that he's talking to other people. But just the fact that she knows that he's out here talking to other females, she allegedly has a boyfriend. And you still decide to go back with her? She just got them dogging you out in the worst way. So that's why I said his self-esteem got to be a little bit hurt, too, because I wouldn't be with a female that's doing no stuff like that. I don't give a damn how much money she got. Now, like I said, if she begging him or whatever or whatever the case may be or he begged her, however they ended up getting back together, I she should be looking out. And maybe she don't even care because she knows she disrespected him so much. But I see him as trying to get a little bit more money, seeing him as trying to get a little bit more fame. I see him as trying to get a little bit more put in a better position, I'll say that. Because no other person is going to be dealing with a person that disrespects you like that and put your business out there on blast and try to make it seem like you're a, a homeless bum. You know what I'm saying? 
when she really out here sliding and geeking and doing all this nasty stuff. It's just ridiculous. At the end of the day, you guys have to be careful on what you are doing. The children are watching. The children are watching. We'll talk about Krishan Rock and Blueface later because I'm pretty sure that she's going to have some more stuff to come out. But on these topics, drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch you on the next video respectfully.